My name is Carissa, and I'm a marine biologist on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. Some days I'm in the ocean working directly to help our ecosystems. Other days I'm teaching people how to save our oceans, or I'm in front of a computer writing proposals for grant projects. Though I do have to say my office views often aren't bad at all. And today I'm going out into the field to try to find an endangered Hawaiian monk seal. I knew I wanted to become a marine biologist ever since I was 16 years old. I watched a powerful documentary called The Cove. It opened my eyes to how dolphins are sold to the entertainment industry and are forced to live in captivity. Ever since I watched that film, I knew that I wanted to dedicate my life to help protect the ocean. Because there are only 1,400 Hawaiian monk seals left in the world, it isn't that common to spot one, but today I got lucky. Their Hawaiian name is Ilio Holo Ika Ua Ua, which roughly translates to dog running through the rough seas. Hawaiian monk seals give us clues about the health of the ocean ecosystem. Scientists call these types of animals sentinel species. And what is that, you might ask? Well, a sentinel species are animals that allow us to detect risks to humans by providing advanced warning of danger, typically environmental issues or hazards. One example is that Hawaiian monk seals can get sick from diseases. And when scientists understand that disease better, it can help them treat and save other animals too. And since there aren't many left, they often have names. The one you're seeing right now is Luana. She is most likely taking a post-lunch nap. For monk seals, rest is important because she's probably been out hunting all night, burning tons of energy. Every piece of information we can gather about a Hawaiian monk seal can help add to our understanding of the species. And that's why when I found Luana today, I recorded everything I could. Her behavior, her scars, and her size. All of this information can help shed light on how she's doing and if she might need extra care. If you're lucky enough to encounter a Hawaiian monk seal on the beach, it's always important to keep a respectful distance and all wildlife. Giving wildlife space allows them to continue their natural behavior. After a morning of exploring, I'm off to a cafe appropriately named the Solar Shack because it's entirely powered by the solar panels on their roof. A small thing that I do every time I get coffee is to bring my own reusable cup. One of the reasons I went plant-based nearly 10 years ago was because I learned about how destructive animal products can be for our environment. I adopted a plant-based diet because I know that the choices I make three times a day can ultimately help our oceans. The most challenging part of my day as a marine biologist is knowing how much danger the ocean is in right now. It's threatened with climate change and rising temperatures and pollution. But I wake up every morning excited to do my job because I truly love marine biology and I want to make a difference. And one of the best parts of my job is being able to teach people about the ocean, whether that's to preschoolers or people in a retirement community. There's not really disagreement in the science community and we really need to communicate conservation to everybody else and get them on board with saving the ocean. So I started a company called the Conservationist Collective last year to help use educational media to save our oceans. The changes I wanna see in my field are for more women and people of color to get involved. It would be great to see more funding go towards ocean conservation too. After all, the ocean is what regulates our climate, and it's one of the most powerful solutions we have to make changes. The best way that you can get engaged with marine biology is to think about your unique, amazing gifts and skill set, and use those to help our ocean. Maybe you're a photographer, a videographer, or a writer. These are all such important skills to help communicate the broader message about our oceans. What keeps me motivated is all the conversations I hear every day about people wanting to help the planet and our oceans. The next generation is super inspired and empowered to take action. And that gives me a lot of hope for the future. <laughs>